She has lived here for the past 18 years. My grandmother is 88. She gets closer to the moment, the one where she begins to see the beginning of where it all ends. It is 1929. She is eight. It is the beginning of the Great Depression, but she knows nothing of it. Her only sister has just been born. Oh, that was likely one of the happiest moments in my life because I always wanted, would have liked to have had a sister. It is April 1945. She is 24. She is married and has found her one love. It is July 1957. She is 36. She rocks in a wooden swing, watching her daughters play, laughing in the summer sun, and the water flows on. You cannot step into that water twice, because it's never the same. It's always fresh water. The water you've just stepped in has gone down in the stream. It is May 1990. She is 69. Her husband is sick. In October, he will be dead. She will learn to live without him. It is 2001. She is 80. Her grandchildren visit every Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. They come and they go. They live and they grow. It is October 2007. She is 87. Her sister, the one she had wished for, dreamed for, has died. I knew exactly what was going on in her life and she knew what was going on in my life. The good things and the not so good things. And uh, so you miss that, you really miss that. It's November 2008, it's 2 a.m. Drunk and violent, they break in through the back door. The world outside of her house has changed. It's not just the break-in, it's everything. It's time in that unexplainable way. It's March 2009. My grandma is packing up her life, putting the memories in boxes. And time moves forward, never stopping, always moving, rushing along. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.